everyone, Ivy Trung from Skyline Property is here. Obviously, people from all over around the nation has been going through such a unique time because of the pandemic and everything else coming along with it. Of course, Seattle, Washington is not an exception. How's all of that affect our real estate market? I'm going to give it to you right now. state market in Washington state has always been a very desirable market, especially Seattle, Washington. The shortage of homes for sale has caused prices to rise. Seattle area real estate market appreciation rate in the last quarter is about 0.95%, which equivalent to 3.86% of annual appreciation. Median sale price was as $725,000, up by 3.79% year over year. That is before the pandemic. What about now? How things look like now? Let me show you this. Housing market data from Northwest MLS show that inventories for residential and condos remain low in the month of April and May as well. For King County, there was only 3,585 new listings were added in May 2020 compared to 5,483 same month last year. For the entire regions, there was 9,871 new listing was added compared to 14,689 listing May last year. That was a decline roughly about 35%. King County closed about 1,988 sale in May 2020 compared to 3,378 in May 2019, it is a crazy 41% drop of closed sale. Total of properties sold in the entire region is 5,857 compared to 9,153 in May 2019. That is a 35% drop for the entire regions. Median sale price for King County in May 2020 is about $750,000 compared to $738,000 last year. So that is an increase. That is a good sign. Before the pandemic hit the market, there was way more buyers than the available property for sale. And data show that the inventory has decreased even more. As of right now, the latest new is Seattle housing market remains in shortage, which is less than two months of supply of property for sale. In the regular market, we will see about over six months of supply in inventory. The nationwide crisis has affected real estate market everywhere in the country, including Seattle, but not as much as we expected to see. Yes, House inventory is unusually low, but buyers still buy and sellers still sell. And we even see the median sell price show some appreciation compared to the same time last year. What all of this information mean to you as seller, buyers, and investors? As seller, look like you have the advantage here. There are not that many homes for sale. You will have a good chance to sell your house at your asking price. You get to pick your buyers. You get to pick your terms as buyers. Of course, there will be more for you to consider now before you make that big purchase commitment. You may want to hone off a little bit until all of this chaos subside a little bit. You may want to pull the trigger right now. But historically, with the low interest rate, it should be able to sustain the momentum of real estate market. As an investor, is it a good time to invest? To answer this question, we need to take a look at the economy and jobs. Seattle has a strong, solid record of the great to best long-term real estate investment in the country. Seattle is a city with more companies and corporations than 
any other city in the country. Seattle area's employment rate has increased by 3.4 percent from 2018 to 2019 and projected another 2.6 percent growth until right before the pandemic hit. These companies offer jobs, they bring in buyers, on top of that, the low inventories and low interest rates cause all of these bidding wars. Yes, you can say that all of that was true right before the pandemic. What about now? What about the future? Nobody can answer those questions. I cannot. I don't think anyone can. However, we can safely observe and weigh the risk of investing in Seattle compared to other cities. What are the chances that Amazon, Boeing, Microsoft, Nordstrom, Costco all go down under at the same time? Only you can decide if the risk is too great for you or this looks like opportunities to you. My name is Ivy and I'll see you next time.